Yeah, we're going into a hornet's nest here when you go to University of Kentucky. There's not a tougher place to play maybe in the country. Um, and it's right there with uh, what Kansas has done and, and uh, Arkansas. I mean, it's right there in terms of a tough home court. They're a great team. Uh, obviously, they're playing well right now with their big win on the road at Alabama. And their guard play in the backcourt is uh, as good as anybody in the country, maybe the best backcourt in the country in Euless and Murray. I am just really, really impressed with Euless because of all the things he does to make his team win. I mean, he's playing 39 minutes a game, so he essentially never comes out. And, uh, you know, four to one assist to turnover, uh, just an incredible all around player. And his defense is what creates so much for him is that. They create a lot with their defense and a lot of turnovers uh, with their pressure. So it's a big challenge for us. And uh, you know we're looking forward to going to play at Rep Arena. Chicken with uh, 21 points on Saturday. Did you see anything different from him in that game? Well, you know, uh, their uh, defense is so spaced out, there's less help. Like the last team we played in A&M, they were uh, like a pack line defense where they really play uh, you know, with the off-ball defenders, you know, in the lane, sitting in the paint, where Arkansas is a team that really, you know, gets out and gets after you. So it really opened up a lot of opportunities for him to drive, and I thought he did a good job attacking. And he shot the ball well from three, especially in the first half, had a couple big threes for us. And, uh, you know, the, the this most disappointing thing after watching and reviewing that film is that, you know, we're – down three with less than six minutes to go in that game and lose by 18. I mean, it, you know, it just makes no sense to uh, only be down three and to let it get away from us. And we just did not, uh, you know, score in our possessions a row, and then they get end up getting open threes. We were down seven with, uh, I think, four minutes to go. Uh, so I was really disappointed in our last, obviously, five minutes of play down the stretch in that game. You talked about a pack defense. Is there anything Chicken can do against a defense like that? Or what does he yeah, do you know, but move the ball more. I mean, you know, we've got to be more patient. I mean, the other day we were shooting too quickly and uh, getting the defense where it was speeding us up to where we weren't making enough passes to one another before looking for a shot, and that contributed to us shooting 38% for the game and and getting you know Gavin the more touches to where it calls, causes more double teams. They were really double teaming the line. He's got to get better at handling that double team. Well, um, number one, to win on the road, you got to play great defense. I mean, you've got to, defense is what travels best, and so we've got to, you know, do a good job of being, uh, you know, better defensively. I thought our our actually our our blockouts were better in the last game. You know, we did a better job blocking out. I mean, they they shot a huge high percentage from three, and it was skewed a little bit with those last four late in the game that really spread the thing out, but, uh, you know, the first half they were 8 for 13 from 3. And, you know, that all being said, we still had a chance here down 3 with five and a half minutes to go. But it starts with our defense, and then it starts with us uh, doing a good job taking care of the basketball and limiting your turnovers. We had 14 in our last game, which, uh, you know, wasn't terrible considering how they hard they play defensively. Uh, you got to make your foul shots. I mean, we're, we're down three with five minutes to go, and we end up uh, three for 20. I don't know if we shot any foul shots in the last few minutes. Um, and then we've got to do a good job, um, a better, much better job at, at con executing offensively. You know, and, and when people, you know, the whole crowd's after you, everybody's after you, you know, not, not getting sped up and moving the ball better and uh, doing a, a better job of uh, executing, setting better screens, you know, just simple fundamental things. Travis only has six points in the first two conference games. Do you use his offensive production to increase? Yeah, he's, he's had uh, eight rebounds and six points in 52 minutes of play. And, uh, you know, he had an open three in the corner to start the second half against Arkansas where if he had just dove to the basket, because Gavin was, he would have had a dunk or a layup. So, uh, you know, we, we'd obviously would like him to, uh, you know, be able to score a little better for us and, uh, you know, and be more aggressive uh, when he has an open shot. You know, he's passed, he passed up an open shot with four minutes ago in the game against Texas A&M 
where you know my my, my deal was well, if you're not going to shoot the old, wide open shot, then you, we got to get someone else in for you because you got to be able to make a wide open shot when it comes to you. And he's shown he can do that in the past. At one point, he was shooting fifty percent fifty percent from three after like six or seven of our first games. I think you know the Kansas City game, he shot it poorly, and he just has not regained his confidence and his uh, aggressiveness looking to score since that point. You guys are averaging 22 threes per game. Where is that number relative to where you would want it to be? Or is that what you want? Yeah, it, it, you know, we're shooting, if you look at our percentage of shots, it's probably a little more than we would like. And, and it's not like we're a great three-point shooting team, but we're missing some wide open threes too. I mean, you go back and you think about uh, like – uh, there were some wide open threes in this last game. When you're wide open and you can't make a wide open three, then it's tough to win anywhere on the road or at home. And and the way teams are playing sometimes defensively it almost forces you to take threes. But ideally, in my my perfect world, you'd like to have about you know 30, 35, 30 percent of your shots threes would be the ideal number. You know, we don't have, you know, a huge post presence with outside of Gavin in there, and that makes that a little more difficult. Coach John Calipari, Mike Anderson, you tough and fearless <clears throat> when talking about chicken. I mean, how tough and fearless is he? Yeah, he is. He's both. Um, and he plays really hard and uh, is uh, a great competitor and, and tough. He had eight rebounds. He had five assists. His only real negative in the last game is he had six turnovers. And uh, he's got to limit his turnovers better. But, you know, outside of that, I think he's really competing hard and playing hard. And the people in this league respect him because he's been around for a while. See that toughness in practice every day? Yeah, and he kind of, you know, got whacked in the shoulder yesterday, which has been an ongoing problem for him all year is this issue with his shoulder. And so that was – I'll be curious to see how he feels today. But, you know, he, he's a kid that is able to handle that, you know, pretty well. A lot of people focus on Kentucky's offense, but what makes their defense so effective? Yeah, they're, well, they're, their defense leads to their offense. Their defense creates a lot of offense for them. I mean, they do a great job of ball pressure, starting with Eulis. I mean, I'm so impressed with Eulis. Uh, you know, he's getting the ball, and he's so quick. Every time you bring it in front of him, he's reaching for it and looking for a steal. And he can do that and still recover and not get beat. So, I mean, his quickness, his tenacity, how hard he plays is just incredibly impressive to me, uh, how hard he plays. Briscoe's a very good, you know, pressure defender. They block shots. They have length inside. You know, when you look at both their bigs, uh, you know, uh, you know, Lee uh, is a good shot blocker. Obviously, the freshman kid, Skull, is a very good shot blocker. So, you know, when, when you do get by him in their pressure, then they've got guys in there waiting for you. You know, Protus is very aggressive. They block a lot of shots, and their link changes a lot of shots. So they have a good combination of really good athletic pressure on the perimeter with guys in behind at rim protect. Is there a way you can prepare for that quickness in practice, or is it just something you can Yeah, it, it's hard because we don't have anybody as quick for sure as Ulyss. You know, that, that's what's tough is how you simulate some of the things that you're going to see. It's like simulating Arkansas. And I thought, you know, overall, we handled Arkansas's press and pressure pretty well in our last game. Even that, you know, once they got in the half court, I thought we got sped up too much because a lot with the switching, you know, they did a lot of switching. And I'm talking about their four-man switching screens and switching out. And, and that was the issue. We were running a lot of motion, and, and uh, we just got to get better at executing, uh, you know, and moving the ball side to side. We were, in, in our last game, we did not pass the ball enough per possession, way too few passes per possession once in your half court. And then, you know, we had some opportunities, and we got to be smart. I mean, you know, IJ had a couple opportunities in the last game where he's driving, trying to finish. Uh, you know, and, and it's not there because it's, you know, they're so big, he's just not going to get the shot off. And he's got to you know, be a good decision maker because he's the guy that has the ball the most. And, and for the most part, he's doing a good job of that, you know, in the last six, seven games. Do you feel like this team is, is getting better game by game? Yeah, I thought that our game against Texas A&M, defensively speaking, was really, really one of the best efforts of the year. You know, the, and we got better in terms of the blockouts, but they shot a higher percentage in the last game. 
you know, and that's the whole key is to keep getting better. And, uh, you know, we've talked a lot about that, you know, um, after the game. We were stuck. Uh, you know, I don't think anybody here in this room made it to the game, but we were stuck there actually. Uh, our, our plane was canceled because of mechanical, so we stayed in the same hotel as a team Saturday night and watch the game uh, together as a group to try to learn and grow. And we came back yesterday and practiced hard for an hour and a half. And then we'll have another uh, practice today here before we take off uh, for uh, Kentucky. Even after a couple of losses to start league play, is, is the locker room atmosphere, everybody still positive? Up, up yeah, you know, we, we talked about that. You know, after, I, I felt like, God, you know, coming out of halftime, uh, we just, we, we didn't have the right – I mean, we came out to start the second half and weren't executing our press offense like we did to start the game. The first time we touched the ball, we turned it over, like a total mishap if you go back and look at the film. It's just like, you know, what is that? We let them jump on us right away instead of coming out really – I mean, I felt good going to halftime, down four, on the road, Bud Walton Arena, you know, the way we, we – I think our guys had, we had a better feel. We can handle this pressure in terms of their press. And then we came out and didn't execute what we were supposed to be doing. It was just like I, it was uh, inexplicable to me. I was really, really disappointed in that to start the second half. And something I talked about, you know, you got to be – you should be excited, you know, uh, coming out. They didn't feel that uh, after the game. So uh, that was concerning to me, and I really addressed that. With Kentucky blank, how do you go about preventing those offensive rebounds? They're one of the better teams in the country at offensive rebounds. Yeah, and, and one of the reasons is is that uh, Euless is so good at breaking you down that you're coming over to help, and then when you come to help, if, if you for some reason don't get there, don't block it, the guy who's left for help, his man's dunking it in. They're a great offensive rebounding team. You know, Prothrus and Lee, uh, you know, in transition, they really follow their shots. It's, it's a difficult one. Um, you know, we've, we've got to do a good job of trying to keep them out of the paint. You know, Briscoe is a driver, 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 driver. And, and Euless is great at breaking you down. And, you know, he created a lot of Pro 27, 28 points, whatever he had in the game, in the game the other night, I think, uh, against Alabama, just off the pick and roll and hitting them and giving them great passes. I mean, he, he's arguably, Euless, the best point guard in the country. You know, and that's all a – a, a tough guy to play against when you're playing against the very best, and he, and he arguably is, in my opinion. You faced off against Kentucky a couple of times in your career. What do you kind of remember about some of those matchups? Um, let's see. I think uh, I played in the Rupp Arena once in the NCAA tournament. It wasn't against Kentucky, so I've been there before, and uh, that was a. a a tough one because we lost uh, to Kent State in overtime uh, with Antonio Gates playing and having 21 against us, really good player, basketball player. Uh, that was my third year at Pitt. And I played Kentucky. We played Tubby my first year at UCLA, and we weren't, uh, you know, a, a great team that year, and they beat us, in a, in a, you know, and they had a good team. And then we beat them in the uh, Maui uh, championship or maybe it was the semifinals in like uh, oh, winter, November of 06. And uh, I think that's the only times we played them. I don't remember playing them again after that. I think it was just one game. Yeah.